we want to write each logarithmic expression as a single logarithm. The first expression is two minus log x. So the first thing to recognize here is log x is common log or log base 10. In order to write the expression as a single log, we need to write two in the form of a logarithm with base 10. Looking at the properties below, remember that log base b of b is equal to one. When the base and number are the same, the logarithm is equal to one because b raised to the power of one is equal to b. So in our case, we need to recognize that one is equal to log base 10 of 10, which is really just common log 10, but we want two, not one. So now we multiply both sides of this equation by two, which gives us two equals two times log base 10 of 10. And now on the right side of the equation, we can apply the power property of logarithms and move the coefficient of two to the position of the exponent on the 10, which gives us two is equal to log base 10 of 10 squared. 10 squared is equal to 100, which gives us two is equal to log base 10 of 100. And now we can perform a substitution for two in the original expression. Log base 10 of 100 is common log 100. So for the original expression, we have the common log of 100 minus the common log of x. And now we can combine the two logarithms because they have the same base. Because we have subtraction, we apply the quotient property of logarithms, which gives us a single log of common log of 100 divided by x. Let's take a look at a second expression. Here we have 1 half plus 2 log base 4 of 5. In order to write the expression as a single log, we need to write 1 half in the form of a logarithm with base 4. Remember a logarithm is an exponent, which means we need to write an equation where the base is 4 and the exponent is 1 half. Well 4 raised to the power of 1 half is the same as the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. So now that we know four to the power of one half is equal to two, we will convert the exponential equation into a log equation using the definition below. Where we know we have a logarithm, we know the base is four, a logarithm is an exponent, and therefore the log is equal to one half, and since four to the one half is equal to two, two is the number part of the logarithm, giving us log base four of two is equal to one half. So notice now we can rewrite one half in log form with base four, just like the base of the other logarithm. Performing the substitution for one half, we have log base four of two plus, let's go ahead and apply the power property of logarithms to two log base four of five, where we can move the coefficient of two into the exponent position on the five, which gives us log base four of five squared. Five squared is equal to 25, giving us log base four of two plus log base four of 25. Now to combine these two logarithms, because they have the same base and we're adding, we apply the power property of logarithms, which gives us log base four of two times 25, and two times 25 is equal to 50, giving us log base four of 50. I hope you found this helpful.